Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Shade. So it's very exciting because right now I'm actually on a train. Um, I'm off to London and I'm going to the Girls in STEM event today hosted by Ascension. So it's like 6am and I am tired. She's just been recognised. What's her name? Victoria. Victoria. So here's Victoria. Hello. She works at a centre actually. And we've just arrived at the Crystal. Whoa! Anyway, I hope you have a good yeah. day. Bye! I'm with Rachel. Hi! Rachel's a legend. <laughs> Australian oh, legend. Stop it. <laughs> building is absolutely amazing. Like, look at that. So on the 15th of March, Accenture hosted over a thousand girls at its Girls in STEM events in London, Manchester and Newcastle. If you didn't already know, STEM literally just means science, technology, engineering and maths. And the aim of these events was to inspire and empower young girls in STEM fields and also to help dispel any myths. So we're just waiting in the auditorium for the opening speech to begin. And so it's exciting, you can feel like the energy building around the venue. It's really exciting. <laughs> to girls in STEM, use social media, so Snapchat, Instagram. So the purpose of this was to show you that even though you probably don't realise it, you are actually already girls in STEM. Science, technology, engineering and maths. So at the start of the day, we just had the opening speeches. So this is Jess and she just gave such an inspirational talk. I think it's wicked. I think everyone should study whatever they want to study, obviously, but I think that we also need to counter the stereotypes throughout society that don't only hold girls back, but they're holding boys back too. And I think that's the really thing. We just want, we want it to be equal. And we want a generation of young people who know that they can do anything. Thank you so much. We're just now heading to the coding session. Is this the way to the coding session, Rachel? So the coding session was really cool. The idea was to make coding more accessible, make it fun. So the girls had to design the front cover of a National Geographic magazine using coding and a bit of creativity. So I'm yeah. just with some of the year seven. And you, did you say you made a square? Yeah. Do you want to show me? Wow. How's it all going? Are you finding it difficult or is it okay? Yeah. But when you're working together, oh that's interesting, that's cool. Do you like maths at school? Yeah. Do you feel like it's a boys subject or do you think it's a subject for everyone? I feel everyone? like it's a fair, it's fairness between them both. Anyone can do maths as a man, be a boy or a girl. Yeah, that's really cool. If you have a look at their children, they're enjoying themselves. They're really starting to gain an interest in computer science. Yeah. The issue that we have with a lot of the girls in STEM projects is they have this idea that it's very, very difficult and they can't mm. do it. But here they are, they're enjoying computer science, they're creating fishes, they're doing coding, and they're really giving it a go, which is what we want That's to see. really cool, yeah. And do you think computer science is more of a boys subject? No. I no. think girls can do it just as good as the boys can, if not better. Oh. So I'm now here with Jill, Jill Ross from Accenture as well. And what is your role? So yeah, my name is Jill Ross. I'm a managing director in our um, retail practice, retail consulting practice at Accenture. Oh wow, that's cool. So you don't actually have a tech background, do you? No, I don't. No. I don't. Um, my background is um, business, retail. Mm. So I uh, I studied business studies, geography, English, so much more oh, on the wow. art side. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've had a career in retail, a career in retail consulting, and working with that technology, uh, parts uh, of Accenture, is all about now how do we help retailers, particularly in terms of the digital disruption that's out there. Mm. So hopefully I'm proof that you don't need to be a techie, and girls have a curiosity and a problem solving side that is actually just, you know, fantastic. This is the Ascension Light Box, and oh look, it's flashing, basically any time it flashes. Someone has hashtag girls at STEM or tag Accenture in some way. So I'm going to try it now. I'm quite excited about this, it's quite cool. <laughs> it's about sweet. Bam. So 
I'm currently just walking around the exhibition bit of the event and it's so cool. I've got to try on an astronaut suit, like a little space suit and it's the actual one that astronauts would use just without the like internal bit um, and I'm just about to try virtual reality which is really cool. I've just been chatting with loads of the girls and yeah like there's just this energy to the event. I also love how technology overlaps with sustainability challenges as well. So how are you guys enjoying the event? It's actually really good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it what you were expecting? Uh, no, not at all. Because like it's really big and really modern and I was like, wow. And are you guys interested in STEM or like science? Yeah, yeah I'm actually, I actually really like science. Yes. I like, really? I like technology and math. Well. <laughs> oh really? That's cool. Technology and math like, thank you. I then headed to the design thinking workshop. So I guess the idea here is we're trying to get the girls to understand that technology is not all just about coding and building physical stuff. It's also about coming up with ideas and using creativity. And um, sometimes they think tech careers are all about that physical stuff, but not actually the idea generation that comes with, behind it. And we have people who are artistic and actually are really good at this creativity stuff. So that's what we're trying to get to today. We're doing a few activities where they have to build on each other's ideas and make them better. And hopefully by the end of it, we'll inspire them that yeah, it's not just about about the physical stuff, it's also about the creativity and the fun as well. So I'm just in the design thinking workshop and these amazing girls have got some genius ideas. We had a direct approach for food waste. Mm. So this is like our prototype. It, you put food inside, uh -huh. it's like a cloning machine. You regenerate the good parts. Okay, the yeah, uh, part. That's cool. I loved this session so much. I was amazed by the creativity of everyone and I loved when they all shared their ideas with people they didn't know. Are you happy with your hair now? No. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. your hair is beautiful. Yeah. So are you enjoying the event today? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. What's been your favourite thing so far? Um, the VR. The VR, virtual reality? Yeah. Are you at all interested in technology? Yeah, I'm picking it for GCSE. You're picking it for GCSE? Yeah. So just having lunch. <laughs> I'm very impressed because got a little vegan option. Hello, so I've just had lunch and honestly the people from Accenture are so lovely. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit nervous coming in like not really knowing anyone but they've taken me under their wing, they're so nice. Uh, so later we've got the panel coming up which will be exciting. Uh, they've got some really cool speakers and I'm just gonna go around chat to some more of the girls. It's really cool to see science in such a like a modern way and solving like real world, world challenges. Um, I know that technology is something that Accenture are, like really big on, like technology is their thing. Um, and kind of solving a lot of modern day challenges through technology. Another thing I've realized is just how creative um, young girls are. Like it's amazing. I don't know what it is. I think the older you get, the more you're told like, oh yeah, this is right, this is wrong this isn't possible because of this and it's so like refreshing to chat to girls and see their ideas uh, in like a technolo technological setting because um, they're just like so creative and STEM is so such a creative thing um, and it requires so much creativity so yeah very interesting. This is Zara one of our speakers today and she is head of technology at Accenture. I'm just going to ask her a few questions as an influential woman in STEM. And you've been working with Accenture for nearly 20, 20 years. 20 years, nearly well, 20 years, and I still amazing. love it. Um, you know, every day, every day, the, the society gets more exciting, technology becomes more embedded within everything that we do. Just try it, just try it. And I, I think, Jade, I was telling you before yeah. that when I first tried coding, yeah. I cried. I cried for about three <laughs> weeks. I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it. And then I calmed down and I took a day at a time at a time and a step at a time and actually once you calm down and realise how joyful it can be, it can open up the world when you've got men and women together, girls and boys together, infinitely a more creative solution yeah. is arrived at. Actually you can be differentiated as a woman, career in STEM because of your process. It's so important. It's called a now robot and basically mm -hmm. he responds to different stimuli in his environment. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So yeah, I just continued exploring the event and chatting to other girls. 
I also found this wall of post-it notes which girls had written about things they've learnt or just expressions of creativity and it was really cool to read them all. Yes, look at that. Are you interested in STEM careers? I am now because I've got a lot of experience on it. Yeah, and like technology and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. It's a lot about so many like sections that you can get interested in. And do you feel like events like this are inspiring you into Yes, it really is. I would literally recommend it for anyone that yeah. is into like math, yeah. or seeing the science. Even creativity, yeah. Yeah, creativity, yeah, definitely. I, I never, I never thought like my the things I do in like school for like art, textiles, would actually go into science. Like you are the future, you yeah. are. I was once again wowed by just how amazing these girls were and their ideas. I then headed to the Q and A panel. I'm quite resilient, I think, and there aren't that many women in engineering, and I am one of those that is not going to make that. A problem. I don't let that affect me. I absolutely am, encourage you to go for it. Um, I'm still only, there are still only two heads of IT out of 43 police forces in the UK. But again, it's not a blocker. Decide what job you would like to do, what career you'd like to do, what university you'd like to go to, and make that your, your decision choice, not whether you should be doing it just because you're a girl, because you can do anything that you choose. My name is Bethany Covey and I'm the CEO and co-founder of a business called Tech Will Save Us and we basically make toys for kids to learn how to make things with technology. So all of our products you have to build yourself and then we give kids digital tools to bring them to life with programming, electronics, creativity, crafts, etc. Do you have any advice for young girls wishing to pursue STEM careers? Um, I think there's two things. One is that STEM, I think for very long, has been very much about um, maybe a, a perception that it's not creative necessarily. Um, we talk a lot about STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and maths. That's cool, um, yeah. Obviously, what we do in every sense of the word is a very creative approach to science, technology, engineering, and maths. So I think it's really important that kids are specifically in, and, and are looking at STEM and STEAM as a creative process is a potential to be really creative um, and then I think maybe the second thing is that um, STEM and STEAM will be a part of everything we do and what's most important is that you find something that you love so that might be food, it might be gaming, it might be design, it might be science, it might be medicine but that STEAM will be a part of everything and so I think no matter what your career choice or what you want to do having those skills is going to be really helpful in being not just successful, but like really productive in that yeah. space. Yeah, and having your voice in that changing industry, yeah. Thank you so much. So I'm just about to head home and I've honestly had such an amazing day. It's been so amazing to meet so many young girls and watch their perceptions about STEM change throughout the day. I think one of the main aims of this uh, event was to kind of dispel the myth that STEM careers aren't creative. And it's been so cool like chatting to so many of you, I love it. Yeah, I really do hope that events like this will help change the imbalance of genders in a lot of STEM careers. Um, Cause we're missing out on you, your intelligent female minds of the future. <laughs> but yeah, a big thank you to Accenture for allowing me to be here today and to vlog it. Um, it's been really eye-opening and very inspiring. But also, Accenture actually have a powerful mind survey, which you can do. And I did this survey and I thought it was just gonna be like a boring survey, like, oh, type in your opinion on this or whatever. But it's not, it's actually really cool. They have like sounds and stuff and music and you have to say what colour it makes you feel. You should definitely do that because it tells you more about your personality type um, and I'll put the link to that in my description and it uses technology to find your personality type. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've got, gotten up to today. Maybe it's even inspired you to consider STEM careers. Um, I love you lots. Bye.